Well, Enjoy is exactly what we're doing. He's such a beautiful cat, and he's now just sitting on top of a termite mound. He chased a little dwarf mongoose quickly into a hole and then couldn't get to it, and he's now decided, well, this is where I'm going to recline and enjoy my rest for the day. So he's now having a really good grooming session, and you can see just how well he blends in this grass. Isn't that amazing? It's the same color. That coat is almost perfectly matched to the color of the grass that he's lying in, and it's why we probably drove past him as we just literally looked straight past him instead of actually looking properly we just kind of drove past him and I honestly thought it was Tingana which is a bit of a rookie error in that his tracks while they are quite big are not quite that big just yet and I suppose it's just you kind of get excited about it when you have Tingana on the brain you forget about it and I thought Tingana would have moved a lot further and that's why I didn't actually check those tracks but I should have checked properly because I even said to Seb that I wonder if he's not lying down in here but we'll just check around and make sure. Anyway, it doesn't matter, we at least got to find him, which is fantastic. But isn't he beautiful? And you can see he's becoming so relaxed now, he's not worried about the vehicles at all. It was amazing when these two, when he was still with his sibling, who was unfortunately killed, and they were young, they were petrified of cars. They used to run, they never used to have any sort of good sightings, and I remember trying to see them when they were tiny, and every time I tried to get there, they would just have run away before we could get there and we never really got a sighting of them. And the first time I actually saw him was only when I joined Safari Live, even though there were multiple sightings of Tandy, but the cubs always used to run away. So it's really nice to see that he's gotten a lot more relaxed now that he's spent a little bit of time. Oh, is your shoulder difficult to get to? <laughs> And that's how you groom your back, apparently. That's so cool. Oh, I can just see him falling over if he does this too much. <laughs> that's so, so cool. I think that's where he's going to probably lie for the morning. Although, he's quite a busy cat. So remember the other day when we left him... Behind the dam wall, there was no sign of him that afternoon. He seems to move around all over the place. And to find him in here is is next to impossible. Unless he's walking close to the road or he lies down and stays here the whole day, the girls are going to have a very tough time to find him in here. It is thick, thick, thick. The elephants have pushed over. I don't even know how many trees. It's almost impossible to get the car past here. And so if he moves down towards the drainage section... It's going to be a tough, tough time to find him. And also if Tandy comes back and takes him somewhere. Interestingly though, there's no tracks for Tandy. And, and like I say, they were said that there was tracks for these two going to Chitwa Dam yesterday. But we haven't found a single track for a female coming back this way or a young male. And so I'm not sure that it was Tandy and Tumba's tracks. I think maybe, just maybe, it could have been Tandy. Oh, what are you watching? Are you watching a fly? There's something buzzing around his head that's got him very alert. See, there we go. <laughs> Let's see if he's quick enough to actually grab it. But I think yesterday, like just going back to those tracks, is that those tracks were for Tingana and for Tandi walking down towards Chitwa Dam and not for Tumba. Because Tingana was eventually found on Inkoro, so it would make more sense than these two and like I said there's no tracks of Tandy anywhere in this area this morning coming back this side it's just tracks for him and we know that they've been hanging around here and I would be very surprised if they haven't been here in fact every day and we've just been not being able to find them because of the area that it's in isn't he beautiful Now he's typical young leopard. You see how he chases things and then, well, it's back to sleep straight away. So he's got that youthful exuberance and really is exercising it to the best of his ability. Now, we're going to sit with him and just enjoy this peaceful scene that is Tumba grooming himself. And while we do, I believe Stefan has still got those zebras that are entertaining themselves with their rubbing post. <laughs> 